Anita, thank you very much. So everybody now on uh, election footing. Uh, let's talk to two gentlemen, one from UKIP, Peter Whittle, and Jonathan Bartley from the Green Party. Uh, caught you by surprise? Uh, yes, it's caught us by surprise, but at the same time, now that it's been announced, it's actually quite exciting. I mean, we've got six weeks, we've got people in place, we've got the organisation, we've got the funding, we're going to be off and going. And, uh, you so you have people in place. How many people and in how many places? Well, no, we hope to have the same amount as we fought in 2015. Um, obviously, two years, it's been, uh, you know, we haven't been sitting with our you know, on our hands, we've been getting organisation. Well, no, you've lost the only MP you've had. Yeah, but that. But at the same time, we've been targeting various different parts of the country where we've found a very, very good chance. And I think that's what we're going to be doing different this time. And those target seats are where for you? Well, uh, certain uh, seats in the north, then also down in the east of England and then in the southeast. OK, uh, Jonathan, for the, for the Greens, is, is this an opportunity? What, what, what does today's decision mean? This is a great opportunity. We're ready. We're really looking forward to it. We've got seats like Bristol West, uh, where Molly Scott Cato, or MEP, is standing. Uh, we want to make a gain there. We want to make a gain in Sheffield, where our former leader, Natalie Bennett, is standing. And you know, if people want uh, a party that's going to oppose extreme Brexit, it's going to fight very, very hard to maintain those environmental protections that are threatened, but also will challenge the austerity, the cuts that this government has been pushing through. There's only one place to go. It's the Green Party. You say fight extreme Brexit. Is it to fight Brexit, to refight that, that battle? No, it's to fight the extreme Brexit. Now, UKIP said you know, to the government, jump, and the government said, how high? You know, they've hijacked it. We are the antidote to UKIP. We are everything that UKIP is not. Uh, we believe in building bridges, being outward looking, not building walls. And we want a very hopeful future. We feel like this is a, a moment where we're facing a fork in the road. We can go one of two directions. We can be an outward looking, inclusive country that really reaches out, uh, that says we are better than this, or we can retreat into the narrow minded uh, version of Britain that UKIP wants. No, be, the, be, the fact of the matter is, look, you know, Johnson's not being completely honest here. Uh, the Greens believe in open borders, right? They don't believe in borders at all, right? But they never actually say that. You never say that, but that is well, truth. That, like to say something people, now? No, was... Hang on, people <laughs> actually voted very, very clearly, right, for uh, control of our borders, control of our trade deals, and our own sovereignty. You talk about extreme Brexit, hard Brexit, soft Brexit. Most people think that, that is a load of rubbish. They know exactly what they voted for, right? And those are the things I just said. But you should tell people that you actually believe in open borders. I tell you what, let me tell you what I absolutely believe, and that's this country has been sold a lie. We've been told that migrants are to blame for everything, for the no, cuts no in our public that. services, for the no. strain on our hospitals. It's not true. You know what, when I was a kid, You're we were told there were going to be, let me, let me just finish the question. When I was a kid, I was told we we're going to have this massive wealth creation with a huge technological advance. We'll all be able to work fewer hours, we'll be wealthier. You know what, we've had all that wealth creation, we've had that technological advance, but we haven't seen that. And we're saying we can redistribute wealth, we can be better than this, we can be hopeful. And yes, I'm absolutely unapologetic in backing freedom of movement. Yeah, I believe it's a wonderful thing that my children have enjoyed and the rest of the country should enjoy it. Yeah, the yeah. truth is it's not just about freedom of movement. They, they believe in totally open borders, right? Nobody in this country really believes in that. People voted Brexit to have control of our borders. What you're seeing now with the government is that they're not even talking about migration. They're talking about, in fact, the, the current levels going on for about another 10 years. We stand for proper control of our migration system with a points-based system. Peter? Peter Whittle, thank you very thank much. You. John Bartley's our writer time. Thank you very much for that. I don't know about some bright new fresh start for Europe. It looks a bit more like the knacker's yard for failed domestic politicians.